France versus Spain, classic of European football, which brings together the brightest stars in Europe this time, between the two leading candidates for the title. One side possesses a squad worth hundreds of billions, but has a lackluster and unconvincing playing style, and had to struggle to reach the semi-finals, with their fighting spirit coming from a solid defense. The other side is a collective of youth and experience, possessing an explosive attacking style with devastating form. The best defense against the strongest attack at 2 a.m. on July 10th at Allianz Arena, France and Spain will enter a fierce battle for the first ticket to the final, compete for the championship. As mentioned above, the situation between France and Spain is completely opposite, like night and day. With France, they are the team that the audience and experts have the highest expectations for. But the higher the expectation, the greater the disappointment. Possessing bright attackers like the golden ball candidate Kylian Mbappe, wing corridor Usman Dembe, or other names like Antoine Griezmann, Marcus Thuram, Colomwani. Yet France has only scored three goals in this Euro. More importantly, none of the goals came from open play. Only one goal was a penalty, in the remaining two goals, the French had to rely on their opponents to score an own goal. Although their playing style is somewhat bland and soulless, somehow, France is still present in the group of the four strongest teams in this Euro. The biggest contributors to the team at the moment must be the defenders. Defenders with a defensive mindset are William Saliba, Dio Upamakano, Theo Hernandez, Untalende, the trio of midfielders N'Golo Kante, Adrian Rabiot, and Aurelien Chouameni. Thanks to the certainty and composure of the above names, the army of coach Didier Deschamps has only conceded one goal and is the team with the best defense in the tournament. The tenacity in Les Bleus' playing style, although it may not satisfy the expectations of many, but at least the French can still be satisfied with what they are showing. Attack wins you games, but defense wins you championships. And the team that has twice won the Euro is trying to get their third title, in the same way they won the World Cup in Russia six years ago. But having said that, French team's attack is really alarming, and one of the reasons why the attack is so deadlocked may stem from the injury to star player Kylian Mbappé. Everyone knows that Mbappé is the soul, the leader of the French team at the moment, and they are having to rely quite a lot on the brilliance of the former star Olivier Giroud. The fact that the 1998-born player has to wear a mask to play not only hides his strengths, but also hides the vibrancy in Les Bleus' playing style. Once Mbappe is no longer flexible and fast in his sprints, and more precisely, stuck in clashes with opponents, then his teammates also became discouraged. So, once they had the opportunity, French strikers themselves also did not have the sharpness and coldness needed to defeat the goalkeeper. Since entering the knockout round, France has faced two big names, Belgium and Portugal. If before Belgium, the army of coach Didier Deschamps still showed superiority and had a late goal thanks to John Vertonghen's own goal, then in the recent match against Switzerland, they were somewhat overwhelmed by Ronaldo and his teammates and had to settle the win or loss on penalty. Not conceding a goal is a good thing. But when facing extremely strong attacks like Spain in the upcoming semi-finals, surely things will not be easy at all. For their part, Spain is a team that is considered to have the highest chance of winning, according to many experts. No longer a Spain full of variations with tiki-taka passes that make the opponent's face white, but now is a Spain with a completely different image. More direct, faster, more pressing and running. Obviously, Luis de la Fuente is bringing a new breeze that makes La Roja's play more watchable than ever. Of the remaining four teams, Spain is the only team team to well five matches in regulation time without needing a penalty shootout. Even in the group stage, despite falling into the group considered the group of death with the presence of Italy and Croatia, Spain still handled it perfectly. After that, they impressively beat Georgia in the round of 16 and eliminated the host Germany from the tournament. What helps La Roja to sublimate is an attack that is in destructive form. In total, they have scored 11 goals in this Euro, the best in the tournament, and up to eight different players took turns putting their names on the scoreboard. That point shows that Spain is not only good in attack, 
but they are also a certain diversity in their attacks. And what is being said here? Players of the bullfighting country are mostly young players. Coach Luis de la Fuente is using two extremely bright names on the two wings, Nico Williams and Lamini Yamal, besides the main captain, Alvaro Morata. Talk about the importance of these two young talents. We just need to watch the quarterfinal match with Germany to be clear. After getting a goal in the second half, the 63-year-old strategist helped these two players to come on to strengthen the defense. But that also made them lose the game, unable to attack, and were equalized by the tanks at the end of the match. In addition, Spain's squad is also balanced in terms of quality between the midfielders and defenders. In midfield, the trio of Fabian Ruiz, Pedri, and Gavi helped La Roja control the game well. And in the defense with Aymeric Laporte, Pau Torres, Eric Garcia, and Cucurella, they are more than capable of fighting. It can be said that Spain is currently playing comprehensively, and it is difficult to find any weakness. Of course, at this point, La Rosa is still the more highly rated team. However, quarterfinal match against Germany not only drained Spain's energy, but also left them with significant personnel losses. First thing to mention is Pepri's injury after a collision with Tony Cruz early in the match. He was diagnosed with a torn ligament in his left knee and was ruled out of the tournament. In addition, Lenormand and Danica Vahan will miss the next match due to suspension. It will be a difficult problem for coach Luis de la Fuente find replacements. It is very likely that Nacho and Dani Olmo, played very well in the match against Germany, will be substituted and it is not excluded that the 4-3-3 formation will continue to be used by the 63-year-old strategist. On the other side of the battle, the French team has almost no problems with personnel. They even received good news that midfielder Alvin Rabiot will return after suspension. And it is very likely that coach Didier Deschamps will use him to replace Kamavinga. However, as mentioned above, the problem of the French team lies in the attack. Didier Deschamps could keep the 4-3-1-2 starting lineup, but we can expect new names in France's attack. Spain has won the Euro three times in history, on par with Germany as the most successful teams in this tournament. While France is not far behind with two championships, the two teams have met 30 times in history, and the victory is leaning towards La Rosa. However, in terms of the Euro, France is the team that has won more meaningful victory. For example, in the Euro 1984 final, Les Bleu defeated the representative of the Iberian Peninsula to win the championship for the first time in history. Even in the last encounter, France defeated Spain 2-1 to win the UEFA Nations League in 2021. Mbappe himself also wants to win the Euro for the first time with his home team, which will give him an advantage in the race for the Ballon d'Or this year. It will be a balanced, hence, and unpredictable battle. France and Spain, whichever team reaches the final has the potential to create a dream scenario in Berlin by lifting the UEFA Euro 2024 trophy. Thank you for watching and see you again.